Garden Studios. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you later stuff. What's up? I'm JR. You're chilling alright. Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studio. This is the latest on my update that I will tell you about so you can sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome. Alright, I'm sorry folks, uh, let me start over again, once again, live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm going to tell you about so as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So the topic we're going to talk about today, um, I'm, I'm in downtown Huntsville again, again and um, obviously there's a lot of people celebrating having a party or what I this is the third newscast around here but um I really want to make things different this time um what I am uh, talking about this time really what I needed to talk about is uh the game that I've been thinking about getting for a long time um it's about uh involving childhood memories such as you know if you don't know what Nickelodeon is back in the 2000s um let me tell you the list of shows. Um, it involves a video game uh, with the PS4, the Xbox, the Wii, and such not. Um, have you ever heard about the uh, Nicktoons Nickelodeon All Star Brawl? That's what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Um, and what it's about is you get to battle it out with all the Nicktoon characters. Um, if you don't know, my life is a teenage robot, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron, um, Cat Dog, uh, Rocco's Modern Life, or all that other classics. Um, here's a list of classes that I'm posting up on the screen right now. And um, what it's about, um, it brings back so many memories and it just. Um, released last fall so I have yet to play it and um, I watch YouTube videos about it and I haven't seen it or I haven't even heard it or I didn't even know about it until I watched the videos on YouTube so that's how I got word of it and now here I am talking about it and I thought it would be interesting to do it right here um, in this area because you know, being at home being all alone just too depressing and I need to make a newscast too about um, depression um, with adults as well so um, yeah so what's about um, on the uh, video game um, you know you get to see the classic characters um, brings back nostalgia and all that stuff um, I have yet to figure out what it costs but I do have my phone um, I can look it up on the internet but it's probably gonna be uh, too difficult um, let me try and look it up on the internet. Um, I'll follow it. Let's see. Um, yeah. All right. So I have my phone here. See, look, there's my phone. Um, and right now I'm gonna be uh, looking up a bunch of Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. Um, let's see. All right. So let me type it out. Nick, go, Nickelodeon All Star. All right. Here it is. So. Um, you see this right here, Nickelodeon All-Star Bro, and I see a lot of prices on here, so let me go to the shop shopping section, see what they got over here. Um, so, there's pricing listed, um, some of it's used, some of it's brand new, um, so, uh, let's see. Well, the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 one cost $49.99, so... $50 to uh, the estimate. So, um, I seen that for Walmart for $26.45, GameStop for $18.99, um, Amazon.com for $22.75, and $39.99. But, anyways, um, what do you
with that reminds me, um, I'm gonna be making a newscast about the classic cartoons and shows getting rebooted out of those classic cartoons. Um, remember the last time that I did a newscast about the um, reboots and stuff? Um, I'm gonna be digging into more detail. <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna be digging into more. De <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna be digging into more detail. Um, about the revivals, reboots, um, creators bring about the classic cartoons, all that stuff. Um, I did see some revivals that are really good, and I'm going to be listening to them on, them on another newscast. Um, and back to the All-Star Brawl video game, is that um, I am uh, going to be playing it soon. Um, now that I found out the pricing, um, I did see the graphics, they're pretty awesome, um, and I, yeah, once again, I have yet to play it, and I did see that, um, the characters did not have voices, and, uh, uh, first few days of the video game, when it first came out, um, but, when, uh, later on, sometime in the months, um, they did brought the voices in. Um, I don't know. It was the original voice actors, or they're just recordings of the old shows. Um, I have yet to find out. Um, again, I don't know uh, what the video game's going to do, or what it looks like, or you know, I haven't played it yet, so I don't couldn't tell you on how I feel about that. Whether I can lose, I can win, I'm good at it, or whatnot. But I can't tell you that until I play it. So. Um, yeah, so that's why I wanted to, to talk to you guys about the uh, video games and all this stuff. Um, to tell you on uh, my opinion about the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, the nostalgia, and then bringing the classic characters back. So, yeah, um, when I, my first reaction when I saw them again, um, when I was thinking about my life as a teenage girl, when a uh, robot was a teenage girl trying to save the world and stuff, um, uh, reference to the Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, and all that stuff. Um, so, it was, uh, you know, my reaction was kind of surprising, but I was very excited uh, about that. So, I was uh, very excited, you know, it sounded like a fun game, and, you know, I can't wait to play. So, yeah. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I hope you enjoyed this newscast. So, Catch me again for another newscast, and I'll see you next time. But until next time, I'm Jerome, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Hart Studios. I'm out. Peace.